This is a Toshiba Chromebook 2. This is the very first Chromebook I ever purchased and it still works for the most part. I don't know, five, six years old. But when I unplug it, it dies. That tells me that the battery on this is probably dead. It gives a battery indicator. So I need a new battery for this. I'm going to install one that's coming up on Thrifty AV. When replacing the battery on a Chromebook, you kind of need the model number, uh, but that model number is worn off of this uh, little plate here. So I'm going to get into this thing and see what the battery says. You're going to have to remove a lot of screws here on the back to get into the thing. Two of the screws on a Toshiba Chromebook 2 are hidden underneath rubber feet, but on this old Chromebook, those are long gone. And some of these screws were replacement screws. Once all the screws are loose, the back plate pries off pretty easily. Now that I'm inside the Chromebook, I have a model number here for this battery. So I'm going to find one of these, probably on eBay to replace this old one with. Before checking eBay, I checked Amazon and there was a seller selling an official Toshiba for $33.99 there. I don't necessarily need my battery to be Toshiba brand, but I'm glad that's an option. The cheapest one I found was $19.99 with free shipping, but this seller had a 92% feedback score. Now that might sound pretty good, 92%, but basically that means one out of 12 people were not happy with this seller and uh, browsing the negative feedback, well, there's quite a bit of it. So even though that was the cheapest price, I might pay a little bit more for a seller with a higher feedback rating. So I went to a seller with a 99% feedback rating and paid closer to $25 for this item. And through the magic of video editing, the replacement battery is here. And they threw in a couple of screwdrivers. That's nice. User manual. Cool. These screwdrivers are specialized. They're not Phillips head screwdrivers. Uh, these are little hex head screwdrivers, which I do not need for this particular battery. Alright, this whole battery is going to unscrew pretty easily. There's one, two, three, four. I do have to watch out for this wire here. It's taped down right here. Let me pull that tape up. Okay, that tape's loose. And I don't want to pull from the wires right here. I want to kind of gently scoot that out. Kind of wiggle it back and forth. Try putting a flat head on the back side here. There we go. All right, that's loose now. All right, let's take the old battery out. And I want to leave this wire. Break the seal on this new battery. This is interesting, the writing is on the wrong side of this generic battery, but it should work. I'm going to tuck this up underneath that same wire, line up the screw holes, and I'm going to insert this, kind of the reverse order of how I took it out. Now I know that uh, I should probably test this before I screw in this battery, but uh, I have fairly decent confidence that this is going to work okay and screws are pretty quick and easy. Without actually installing the back plate back on, I'm just going to put it there to keep everything together. Open this thing up, and it powered up. Battery did the trick. Now that I know that it's going to work, I'm going to go ahead and put these screws back into the 
back plate. Now some of these screws are original screws and some of these screws are replacement screws because the originals popped out a long time ago. Like, okay, there we go. Got a grip. And it looks like I need one more replacement screw. I need a screw right there. Let me find one that fits. And the M2.56 uh, there fit in that hole just fine. Okay, so we are back in action well, with the Toshiba great. Chromebook 2. It is playing my video just fine on Odyssey. I checked YouTube too. I checked my email. Everything's working great. It is not plugged in right now. The battery came with a decent charge. It looks like it's about three quarters full already, but I'm gonna go ahead and hook it up here and put a full charge on this battery and make sure uh, this thing will last a good, I think it used to go seven, eight hours between charges when this thing was fresh and new, what, five, six, however long ago I bought this, which was a long time ago. I'm glad to have the Toshiba Chromebook 2 working again. If you enjoyed this video, smash that like button. Thank you to my members and patrons for supporting Thrifty AV. And remember, stay thrifty, everyone. <laughs>